Here we're going to talk about comparing fractions and I'm going to show you two types of questions that you might see on the test that you can use this, uh, this technique for. So the first type of question is they may give you three fractions and ask you to put them in ascending order. So ascending order means from the least to the greatest. So we need to figure out which one of these is the smallest and which is the greatest and then put them in that order. So there's, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way, which I think is the simplest way, if you're allowed to use a calculator on this type of a problem, is to simply use your calculator and do the division. So remember every fraction just means the top number divided by the, the bottom number. So you just plug in your calculator 7 divided by 9 and you'll see you're going to get something like 777. 3 divided by 4, 0.75. 11 divided by 14, 0.785. So now it's easier I think for most people to look at decimals and figure out which one is the smallest and which is the greatest. Remember when you're Comparing decimals, you just first look at the first number. So we're going to look at the 7. There's a 7 here. There's a 7 here. So they're equal as far as the first number goes. So you go to the second number. There's a 7, a 5, and an 8. Well, 5 is the smallest. So 3 fourths is going to be the smallest number. And then you have a 7 and an 8. Well, 7 is smaller. So 7 ninths is going to be the next smallest number. And then 11 fourteenths. So this is the answer of putting these fractions in ascending order. And we did it by just doing the division and comparing the decimals. We can see that this is the smallest number, and then this one, and then this one. So that's one way to do it. I think that's probably the easiest way to do this kind of a problem, but you probably need a calculator in order to do that quickly. Another way that you can compare fractions is by what we call cross multiplying. So for example, we can compare three, uh, 7 ninths and 3 fourths by cross multiplying. That means we take the top number times this bottom number, so 7 times 4 is 28, and we just write it above the top number. And then we take 3 times 9, which is 27, and we write it above the top number. And then we just compare these two numbers. So 28 is bigger than 27, so 7 ninths is bigger than 3 fourths. These numbers up here really don't mean anything, the 28 and 27, they're just used to compare. So we know that 3 fourths is less than 7 ninths. So we know that in ascending order, wherever this falls, 3 fourths is going to be before 7 ninths. So then we're going to compare 7 ninths and 11 fourteenths. Again, we're going to cross multiply. So 7 times 14, which is 98. 11 times 9, which is 99. So 99 is bigger than 98, so this fraction is bigger than this fraction. So in ascending order, it goes 3, 4, 7, 9, 11, 4, 11 14. So that's the same we got with the decimals. So there's two ways to compare fractions. One is by doing the division and getting the decimals and the other is by cross, cross multiplying. The other type of problem you might see is when it asks you something like um, does this ratio form a proportion? And all it means is they're going to give you something like this. So if this is true, where this fraction is the same as this fraction, then the answer is yes, that the ratio forms a proportion. So we do the same thing. We're going to compare these two fractions and see if they're equal. So the first way we can do that is 17 divided by 20 gives us 0.85. 51 divided by 60, plug that in your calculator, you're going to get 0.85. So we can see that they are equal because these numbers are equal. So the answer to this question would be yes, it does form a proportion because this fraction is the same as that fraction.
The other way we can do this is as we did it before with cross multiply. So here we have 17 times 60, which is going to be 1,020. 51 times 20 is 1,020. So these two numbers are equal, so these two fractions are equal. Now let's say they gave us instead 3 fifths and 1526. So here, 3 divided by 5 is 0.6. 15 divided by 26, plug that in your calculator, you get 0.57. So these are not equal. So the answer to this question is no, they do not form a proportion. The other way you can figure this out, if you don't want to do it that way, is by cross multiplying. 3 times 26 is 78, 15 times 5 is 75, these two numbers are not the same, so no, it does not form a proportion.